Hey guys, Unfrequent in World Photography, and this week I want to talk to you guys about a new strap system I've implemented, the double strap combined with hip clips uh, for shooting weddings. How does it feel? Does it work? Is the gear safe and secure? And uh, how much did it cost? I don't know what they're actually called. They're pretty cheap on eBay. Let's talk about it. So this system can be had for under $20 uh, Canadian on eBay. Is it trustworthy? We'll talk about that. We'll talk about what your other uh, options are. So I did shoot a wedding last week with this gear. And as you can see, when the cameras are on your hip and secured, they can't swing around, which makes all the difference in the world. The reason I bought this system was I'm a huge proponent of the strap system. I've been using a single strap for years and I often carry my second camera on a tripod, set it down when I need to. It's kind of a hassle to reach over when you want to uh, clip off and get your 7200. I usually put my bigger camera on the tripod and with my wide angle I do most of the shooting and then for certain occasions you want your, your close-ups uh, during the actual vows and things like that, I would always grab the 7200. Now with this system I can carry both cameras right on my hip and I can shoot whatever camera I'm shooting and it just clips down, it locks in, it can't come out and I switch to the other camera, release it and I can shoot with the 7200 and do what I need to do with that one. So how does the system feel? All of the weight in this system is on your belt. So you buy these two things separately. The double strap system, you can pick any double strap you like. Um, then the clips that go on your waist, you buy those separate. All of the weight from your cameras with the, the belt system are on the belt. So you need to make sure you have a really good sturdy belt because there's no weight on my shoulders. The reason I'm doing this in tandem is for safety measures only. These belt clips that you buy are made out of plastic. They do actually have a steel bearing that clips into a holster, which we'll take a closer look at, but I'll show you guys. They just slide in and it locks into place. However, the housing is made out of plastic. So I wasn't too sure about that and I thought about what I wanted to do and the solution is wear a double strap. So your camera is secured by a strap and then as a secondary measure it locks in on your hip. The problem I've always had with the strap system is the camera is flopping around wildly. So as you're moving through a crowd and turning to take pictures your camera is swinging on the side and, and you can bang it off of pews and people and grandmas and whatever. So this system really locks it down onto your waist and they can't really move anywhere. They are locked in place, so I feel a little bit like Elvis there. But uh, excellent in terms of they're right here at your waist. You reach down, you know where you're grabbing. Your, your handles are there. Secure and feels really good. You are going to look like a dork wearing this double strap system, so make sure you wear a nice shirt, guys. You don't want to take fashion tips from me. You're lucky I'm wearing pants in this review. So you guys know that I did a, a review on the Focus uh, One straps before and I really love mine. I've had it for about three or four years now and uh, no problems with it whatsoever. I ordered a double strap that was different this time and for this system to work you can order any double strap. I'm not going to recommend this one here. This was just a cheapie just to test out how does it feel. Well I like this. I'm actually going to buy on eBay. I'll put a link on here there is a Focus One double strap that you can buy now. You couldn't uh, a month or two ago when I ordered this, but it is there now. I'll put the link on here now. And this one here I want to show you guys. I'm not even going to mention which brand it is, but there you, there's the brand. When I got it in the mail, it has sliders, um, little clasps that close on your nylon straps. And when I opened it out of the package and I went to adjust these straps, one of them just fell apart right in my hand. I just opened it and it fell right off. So I'm not going to recommend this strap system, but I will recommend the Focus One strap, which I have no affiliation with them. Uh, I've just used that product for a few years and I really like it. Check out the review on my site for the single strap. I've gone ahead and ordered the double strap to work with these belt clips. So whatever strap system you buy, guys, you want to make sure that it comes with the plate that looks like this. Um, it's not going to have this ball bearing in there, just disregard that. It's just going to be a plate that you screw into the bottom of your camera. And you want to make sure that when you screw it in, that the camera hangs with this at the top. So you're going to turn your strap whichever way before you tighten it down, so that when you grab your camera, the strap here is at the top. And when you buy your belt system, it's going to come with this ball bearing, which also screws into a tripod mount, which comes with this Allen key right here. 
and you'll just put the Allen key through the hole and tighten them down. I was gonna... So here's a close-up, guys, of what the um, holster system looks like when it's on your belt. So your camera hangs here, um, your strap is attached via a plate to the um, tripod mount on the bottom of your camera, and then the belt system comes with its own uh, bearing which screws into a tripod mount as well. So to release this, it's going to be hard to do with only one hand. You just pull up on this trigger here and then the ball bearing can come out. So once you pull that trigger the ball bearing comes out and here's a closer look at what that looks like. And they give you an allen key that you just put in that hole and uh, to lock the bearing into into place on the bottom. So when I'm shooting it actually um, sits behind where my hand grips, so that works out fine. I was worried that that would dig in, and no issues there as well either. So, so even though the holsters are made out of plastic, it's pretty thick stuff, and the bottom um, does have a metal uh, cup here that the ball bearing sits in, so it is reinforced. Do I trust this 100%? No. That's why I wear the strap as well, just in case, um, you know, if this ever broke off the belt and were to fall down, the strap's going to stop the camera from hitting the ground. But it does feel like pretty sturdy plastic. Um, there are slits in here, so you can, uh, you can put your belt on first and then put this on. Uh, it's a little bit difficult to do, but once they're on, they are sturdy. They are, wherever you slide them and do up your belt, they are in position. So they don't move. So I wore the strap system for about four hours last week and uh, all of the weight is on your belt. So there's no stress on your shoulders at all. It's actually very comfortable to wear. Do I wish these belt clips were metal? Yes, I do. And there is a solution for that. If you look on eBay, there's one that you can buy that has a belt system with metal cups. The whole thing is metal. It's about $40 for two of them. What I would want to do is cut that system apart and uh, make my own out of it. So nobody offers that I've seen just these cups that you can put on your belt in a metal form. So you have to use the plastic ones for now, but they're dirt cheap. They're like two to four dollars depending on where you buy them. So you buy two of them, you know, you're looking at four dollars, six dollars, whatever. Uh, I have shot a wedding with them. They do seem sturdy. I have another wedding coming up in 15 days. If I have any problems, I'll let you guys know. I actually plan on using this strap system for my nature hikes as well because quite often I carry a three or four hundred millimeter lens on one camera and then I usually have uh, my wide angle uh, on my strap and my long lens on a tripod and then you're carrying the tripod over your shoulder uh, which on some walks you don't really want to do. If I have this strap system now I can just put a camera on each hip and use it for wildlife as well. I can't comment on long term durability of this system but after one wedding Everything's still intact and still working, and at $18, you really only need to make it through one wedding. So that's all I've got on the double strap system for this week, guys. As long as you use the two uh, systems together, the strap and the hip system, you shouldn't have any catastrophic failures. And um, if I have any other problems or issues, I'll let you know because, like I said, I've got another wedding coming up. It worked great for the first one, and we'll uh, let you know how it does in the future. Thanks for watching.